All right, we've got a 2019 Heartland Cyclone 4270. Um, they measure it right about 44 foot, triple axle. We have a little bit of everything here. It's got the auto level on it. It's got the outdoor fuel station. Your controls for the, the generator and fuel tanks. Walk back around the other side here. Um, this camper is equipped with the ceramic coating system. We've got the underbelly right here. Not real big. Comes with uh, some jacks for the leveling. Got the quick disconnect. Uh, shower hose for both sides. We got two 30 pound propane tanks on each side. It is equipped with the side view cameras along with a rear uh, backup camera. Uh -oh. We got the Cummins generator down in here. All your servicing. Again with the auto level there. Um, this uh, camper, one of the main reasons was that side patio. It's a very nice, huge side patio there. It does have a set of stairs that come off. Just don't have room to get those on here in the, the shop. Here's looking at the underbelly from the other side. It does have X chocks. Uh, it comes with this, the uh, a little kit. And again, you can see the uh, blocks to go on there. So we'll head on inside. Walking inside, you got your fuse box, your main control panel. Nice little coat closet. Some more storage up top there. Uh, storage above the door here along with your sound bar. Going out onto the patio. You got a nice little patio. Um, slide open. You have a nice big pass-through window here. A little mini fridge, along with a little bit of storage right there. Nothing too crazy. Awnings are in really good shape. So it has three awnings total. Um, obviously I can't get the back one out because of the way it sits here in the shop. Got your nice counter with all the accent lights and everything. Bar stools. Really nice kitchen counter there. It's got the full sink here, not the split. So that's definitely handy. You got storage over here coming around. All your major appliances. This is kind of a cool little feature. You put your trash can in there. Um, you access it from the outside, so it makes it pretty easy to get in now. You got your counter space up here. Now, it does have, hiding here in the corner, a, a holder for paper plates. I know a lot of people camping will use paper plates versus um, something else. You got your fridge freezer. This is not a residential. This is a gas or electric. You've got these nice cabinets, good and deep, um, all the way around. Uh, seating for five plus, uh, all these recline. They do have um, USB chargers built in. Got these cool little corner storage on both sides. Moving back into the toy hauler area, it's a 13 foot garage. You got the two queens. Um, this bottom one will drop down into a, um, like a couch and you got a table. You've got your rear patio with the uh, bars that'll go out the uh, railing. Can't really see it, but hiding back there where it's kind of dovetails is a in-floor storage compartment. 
You got all your controls here along with your stereo. Some more storage. Washer and dryer hooked up. Half bath here. Moving around. We'll go out the, the back door here. Pardon the mess. Um, this is that little cubby hole I was telling you. Yeah. This is where you'll access your trash can. Like I said, makes it pretty simple. Got the, um, the shower hose. It can come out to this side. Give you a way to wash stuff down on this side. Uh, the back end, a little hard to see. But uh, you got your awning up there along with that, uh, that backup camera. We'll head back inside. We'll go up front. Um, this does have the DVD player and stuff that'll go with it that plays through the, the TV. Uh, moving on up the stairs here. Got a nice another little pantry, closet, storage, whatever you'd like to use it for. Coming on into the bedroom. King size bed. Nice TV there. Um, you do have a tilting bed. So it does tilt up and down. Got your storage up top there. Nice big uh, closet here. Along with some additional storage underneath. You got your bathroom. Nothing too crazy. Nice camper. Um, I'm 6'5". I can stand in here and not hit my head. So plenty of room there. And that's, that's about it for this camper. Um, it's a phenomenal floor plan. Definitely has room for all those weekend activities. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out.